Good evening and uh, welcome to the Take It to the Max show with Grandmaster Max Lugie. We're playing in the five minute pool as always. Um, today we're going to look at what happens, uh, how I do in this five minute pool, and I'm going to try to explain the ideas behind my moves. Uh, hopefully, uh, mm, reasonably strong moves. Uh, sometimes I have a good day, and sometimes the days are not as good. And especially, uh, uh, you have to realize that as I'm not only explaining the moves, I'm also not hearing when my opponents actually respond. So sometimes that takes a second or two off my uh, clock per move, and that's uh, difficult, especially towards the end of the game when uh, we have a few seconds left. So I have recently lost a good share uh, of games where I was up a lot of material, but that will inevitably happen, and in any case, it's a blitz, it should be fun, and I shouldn't be winning all my games. Uh, anyway, um, and um, by the way, uh, with that said, in New York City, something very uh, cool is happening this Thursday, although not quite New York, Jersey City, actually, uh, at the Liberty Science Center on Thursday, Magnus Carlson will be playing a 12-game exhibition, uh, final exhibition of those who have gotten lucky in and gotten uh, their tickets to the um, to that exhibition from the Magnus uh, application and uh, Fabiana Corana is going to be there um, uh, as a host of the Liberty Science Center so meanwhile we have Alex Fishbein um, who I played recently a few times uh, playing uh, against my London system here and um, okay this is actually quite interesting uh, it looks like I should be able to get an advantage here, uh, but I have to think about this. Should I play queen b3? No, because there's going to be bishop e4 check, a uh, bishop e4 somewhere when I take on b7. So that's not going to be that great. So let me go bishop g5. And um, actually uh, try to pin this. Uh, okay, now finish up my development. I don't want to. Uh, lack too much by casting in the center. All kinds of things could happen. So, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with this. Actually, now queen b3 looks reasonably interesting. Uh, no, I'm going to still castle. I'm going to allow black to simplify with knight e4. I think there's still going to be a little bit of a pool in that case. All right. Um, okay, well, I guess queen e2 then. Typical queen's gambit declined. I think I have a little bit of a pool. Um, the bishop and the five doesn't always stand so well, so it's like a slightly better slot for me. Okay, I'm going to accept this exchange. Now, I could take and play knight d2. Maybe I should just play rook c1. fc1, though. I don't know why rook fc1. Okay. Uh, knight d2 now. Hmm. Okay, black is going to play something for, for e5, and that's obviously going to be the equalizing idea. Hmm. Could play bishop d3, and then bc. Maybe a slight edge that way, let me try for it. Maybe b takes c3. Yeah, I'm not going to make it that easy for black. And try to push a little bit on the on the d file, on the b file rather. Yes. Okay. Now queen e4. I guess black could play f5, but I'm not sure if I don't like that. Okay. Now time to start pressing on the b file. I think I should mind the same thing. I should be happy about it, I think. Okay, now rook b3 to go rook b1, I guess. The only question is c5. Is that going to be... No, c5 I'm going to just take on b7, so that's not a problem. So rook b3. And of course, if black takes on d4, okay, now 
Okay, now knight g5 is added to the possible raster moves, but I'm going to remove my queen quickly. Okay. And okay, for now h3, really seems like a reasonable way of continuing. Okay, knight g5 now no, now knight d2. Hitting the e pawn. Queen g6, okay. And let's press on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so now on d5, we have a. Finally, we have a protected pass pawn, but black is going e5, obviously. 95, that is. So if I, I can play a 4 now, that should be okay, but. The black plays e5. Okay, I'm going to stop it with knight with f4. Okay, my trumps are pretty good. The d5 pawn is quite serious. Now knight h4 is a threat. Okay, now I could play knight d2 and rook f1. Attacking up 5. Okay, but this end game should be a little bit better for me anyway, no? The knight and pawn ending. Or should I defend with rook f3 first? I like this ending. The knight and pawn, or whatever it is. Um, okay, so still have the past pawn, but okay. Okay, so takes, takes, rook f3. Okay, let's get rid of one of them. Maybe get rid of the second one too. Protected pass pawns are serious, serious trouble sometimes for our opponents. Now I calculated rook d3, but rook d3, 95, king f1, rook g2 is what I missed. Hmm. All right, I guess I'm going to have to do this. And d6. On knight d5, I'm playing d6, forcing knight d7. I think it shouldn't be so bad. Then I'm going to try to put my knight on b5 and create some weaknesses. Let's see if that works. Interesting ending. Okay, knight on b5 as promised. Grab that one. My idea is rookie three on rook takes pawn. Okay. Knight goes back. Aha, uh -huh. knight c7. D5. Now if I play d7, knight takes. Knight c7. Hmm. 
I'm going to play rook d5. What does he do now? And then knight c3. Aha, then we get descending. Okay, well, interesting. Let's try it. Yeah, maybe not so great for me, huh? Oh boy. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, this is not good. This is really bad. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Yep, very well done by. I overplayed my hand there, and uh, Alex wins. Nice game. Um, well, that was a tough one, actually. Okay, now immediately to the foremost number six in the world, Mikhail Gurevich. Okay, well, let's see how that goes. I overplayed my hand from a slightly, I thought, slightly better end game. Maybe it wasn't much, but... Um, that's tough. That was tough. It was well, very well played by Black. I thought I may have a pull, but somehow all my attempts were met nicely. So, a very well deserved win by Alex there. Okay, let's. And uh, Michael and I, we just played a game recently. I guess last week, in you know, the same uh, variation. Okay, knight h5 now. Bishop g5 uh, was what Mikhail played last time. And uh, I played queen b6, and we had an interesting game up to knight b3, where I think I got a, maybe a slightly better end game, which I didn't really win, but anyway. Now we're playing this pawn sacrifice. Also quite interesting. And very topical in this variation of the king's Indian defense. Of course, I'm threatening two uh, pieces. Okay, now I think a good move to try z5. I like to play e5 anytime I see the knight on b3 in the king's Indian anyway. I think this is a timely advance here. Okay, well, fine. Now, should I play knight e5 or knight? F4, probably knight f4 because knight f5 will just be met by something I don't want to see. So I'm just going for the bishop. Just one bishop is all I want out of this as compensation. And uh, I can live with the rest. One pawn is not going to be enough to scare me here. That's what I say. C5, okay, all right, C5. Now, 95 looks interesting. I think I'm going to do that. Thinking about bishop e6 shortly. There's my bishop e6 going after the knight and going after bishop c4. Okay, that was stopped just in time. Okay, now now bishop h3 and what else? Okay, black wants to play f4. And I will need a good reaction to that. So it looks like I should play bishop h3, so I'll have a reaction to f4. I'll have the knight g4 reaction. This guy, I should probably sacrifice 4 on d6. If I sacrifice without bishop, I should probably have a good position. If the bishop goes to c7, my knight gets to d3.
nice position for both sides, I think. Very cool. And probably around balanced, I would imagine. All right. He's trying to get that pawn. I think I'm going to sack. On knight a5, queen b4 actually wins the knight. That's crazy, but true. And the queen is going to b4 anyhow. And now we have some nice play, I think. Uh, knight c4. This should be 6, maybe. I don't know. Is white, does white want to play knight... Uh, Knight d3, right? Knight d3. Okay, I'm gonna insert the bishop on c5, hopefully. That may win an exchange. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now it won't win an exchange, right? Because the rook will move. The rook will actually move from d f2 so i didn't win an exchange on that that was a little bit uh, unpleasant actually i was expecting to win the exchange and when stuff like that doesn't happen that's a bit unpleasant hmm. well let's see how white proceeds i think the two bishops are really nice compensation but I don't know if I can speak about an advantage here. Yet. Maybe not yet. Okay. Bishop h6. Oh, let's see. Uh huh. White is willing to part with the exchange. That's how much he hates his position. That's interesting. That's so interesting. Amazing. Okay, queen c4 though. Mm -hmm. It must be better, yeah. All right, let's try to break in to f1. Obviously, queen d3, yeah. And now just. Hmm. How should I deal with this? Okay, queen c5. I'm gonna go to g5 now. Just need to invade somehow. Mm -hmm. F h4. Uh -huh. Okay, that's fine. Now the h file maybe. Something both of us are going to be looking forward to, right? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. That protects it. Okay, cool. Mm, if I go in there somewhere. Bishop here, maybe. A little scary what I'm doing, but uh huh. Now he wants to trade, so I'm going to keep that. Okay. Oh, God. All right, let's get the queen out of there. Look, F6 is coming, maybe. Oh, lucky. Okay, it's not coming that quickly. Queen C1, maybe. Oh, 
All right, now it's going to check me, and that's not going to be good. Ah, uh, so I screwed up. All right, I'm going to try to keep the queens on anyhow. Okay. I can't believe I'm going to just get mated. I was just about to get mated. I have no time. Check. Check. Take a pawn at least. Oh my god. Stop this man somehow. <laughs> 16 seconds. Oh my god. I have no time. Okay, trade queens. Push my G pawn. Push it. Push it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Here. And wait, lost on time, notice. Wow. That I didn't even realize. Well, that was one tough game. I have to say that was a uh, one tough game. Uh, that uh, whew, that was very nice to have won. Um, now, what happened there? I have no idea. I mean, I I, I suppose the position was around equal. I think this line a4 is an interesting move. Of course, I think. In this line, we're always operating roughly in the. Okay, well, no time to explain, since I'm playing another international master. After playing two GMs, so that hopefully will be a little easier. Although who knows, some of these international masters are amazing. New world championship, this guy calls himself new world champion, perhaps. Woo. Okay, so a win with. Black lost with white for now against two seasoned grandmasters. And we'll see how this one goes. Okay. My pawn got a little stumped earlier. But I think he's in good shape now. I suppose you should play d6 at some point, right? That would be uh, logical. But he's trying to somehow economize on that. Maybe to play b5 in one move, I don't know. Of course, I could try e5, then knight h5, and bishop g5. And I'll be threatening moves like d6 and g4, so I'm not sure that that would be such a great experiment, but I'm, I would welcome it. I think I would welcome it, and I think he's thinking about it, which is really cool. Yeah. Yep, he's thinking about what I'm welcoming. And there I go to g5. Yeah, g4 is a major threat. As well as d6, I think. And yeah, this move, I think I can just uh, go back. Maybe play d6, threatening queen d5 check. And then bishop b7, take knight d5. Some move. Not so clear. All right, I'm gonna just take and go bishop e3. That's gonna be my uh, idea here. Uh -huh. Black's now going to play d6. That's a cool idea. And if I play bishop c5, then the knight escapes. Hmm, I think Black got a good position. All 
I'm going to go for it. I need my knight on d5. I can't allow d5 to happen. Plus that does stop the d6 defense of the uh, knight. All right, so queen d5 check. And now either should I take the pawn or the rook or the... Maybe just the pawn or the f5. So g4 or queen takes rook. Oh, I'm not sure this is good at all. Shaky is what this is. I'm going to grab the rook down. That's the fattest piece of material I can grab. At least I'm suffering for something here. Okay, now b4 looks like the most reasonable continuation. And then my queen walks out. I think queen a5 is a mistake. Knight c6 was what I would have played. But I don't know. It's complicated still. Queen b2, rook c1, rook e8. Then queen c5, queen c1. Yeah, rook e8 immediately. Fine. Just bishop e2, I think. And now I can castle on queen b2. That's nice. And on knight f4, I can take the knight and take the other knight, maybe. And still try to castle away from all this madness. Maybe. Complicated. Knight c6, why can't I play queen c5 now? Okay, I can, but I don't want, but do I want to is the question, right? Maybe I will need to play. So takes 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 knight f4, bishop e3, knight g2, takes takes six. Okay, it's a it's a fighting position for both sides. Obviously, I can survive that. What is it? An exchange for a pawn, <clears throat> but I have an a pawn that's quite strong. So. Completely interesting position, let's put it this way. Ready to take on e3. Yeah, it's a fight. It's a fight. Fine, a4, a5, or should I play rook d1? I think this is the idea. Just keep pushing that pawn, create a diversion as quickly as possible. Okay, uh, h3 is one idea, rook a4 is another idea. I like this second one because it actually develops a piece, which I don't have too many of. I mean, develop pieces. All right, this is definitely a6. Okay, now I guess h4. Give my other rook a little luft, a little bit of air. Tough. Tough position. I don't know what's going on. Only time will tell. Time is telling that I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, takes, takes. And, uh, okay, takes, takes should be good. 
though I don't know why I should open up that for block. Um, mm -hmm. All right, let's move our rook ever so lightly from this pin. And now let's try to take this pawn on c3. All right, definitely grab this one now. Um, and definitely grab this one now. And knight h4 looks like a good move. Knight d4, okay. Bishop d3, perhaps. Okay, that's a good attack. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Damn, what is that? That's threatening me even one. Oh my god. This is looking very scary. Oh my god. What's going on? I have no time, too. Oh boy. Six seconds. How did that happen? Ooh, we're starting. Okay, I just got blasted out. I had no idea what was going on. My god, this position was just crazy. And I was up on time, and then this happened. Okay, well, back to Mikhail Gorovich. Wow, well, today is a real workout for me, huh? Grandmaster after Grandmaster, and then we have uh, the strong international master kicking my butt. Well, let's see what happens now. What was going on in that game? Do you know? I don't know. I thought I was doing okay with that exchange, but those pawns finally started moving and I didn't have a way to uh, really combat that. Okay, I'm allowing black to take on f4. Obviously, I'm realizing that that's a bit double-edged, but I'm hoping that it's not my pawn structure that's going to be important, but the uh, the pressure from these two pawns that I'm creating on f4 and d4. Well, we'll see. We'll see if that is even reasonable to assume that that's a good idea. For now, let's defend that f1 so it can't be attacked that easily and try to force some weaknesses on that uh, c pawn. Okay, so now obviously c5 should be stopped for a little bit at least. Okay, let's put that pawn there at night. And let's see if black plays c5. Doesn't because he knows his he knows his stuff. Okay now if I play ninety four maybe Maybe I should play knight a4 and keep that c5 far away from me, as far away as possible from the c5 break. Really? That just happened? Okay, now black probably missed c6. But how about is uh, the other reasonable move? Okay, I'm going to play c6. Takes, takes knight d4. And 
I should be better, I think. Should be better, I think. Uh, okay, black can play obviously queen c4 and try to hold on to that position, but you know, I uh, I have some advantage. Because I'm attacking first. Okay, now knight b5, threatening knight d6. Probably even knight a7 and rook c4, because there's a back rank problem. So, the black plays, I don't know. I can play knight e8, I guess, to defend. Then I could play b3. b3. B three A six D four D six. Okay, doesn't work. So <laughs> So I think Blacky may be equalized if I misplay this like this. Of course, I saw this coming, but what to do? B3, A6. Knight, D4, Knight, D6. If black plays A6, I'm just play Knight, C3. Okay, I'm going to just move my king over. I don't see a reason to panic, exactly. Okay, good question. It looks like black has equalized somehow. King d2, king knight e4, king c1, c3. Hmm. How can I win this position? King d2, knight e4, followed by c3. Okay, I'm going to have to take. It's the only way I can maybe even ha hope to get some, a little bit of, not even an advantage. But something. It's called traction, some traction. Let's play h4. King d3. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go for descending, even though of course it's not that interesting. It should be a dead draw. But anyway. Okay. I'm actually putting myself in a bit of danger after king f5. Yeah. But that's life. Hmm. 
Yeah. Well, let's continue playing. Why not? <laughs> Is he king of six? Take six. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a draw this way or that way, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Very funny. Because if I go king h6, he goes rook f7, then I actually lose. So I better go here. Oh, that's a bad move too. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I did that. Now I'm actually almost losing. I may be losing. Oh my god. I can't believe I did that. That's really bad. Okay, well, still looks... Looks like I can save myself, but just barely. Okay, let's check. Now my, t my turn to check. And check and check and check. And check and check and check and check and check and finally draw this game oh my god what just happened Did my opponent just blundered oh my god I can't believe that that's ridiculous <laughs> how did that happen I don't know okay can't believe this happened but what the hell I might as well win <laughs> Oh, that was ridiculous. But, uh, okay, I didn't mean to play on for a win, obviously. Um, but that, that sometimes happens. Uh, okay, well, that was lucky. Of course, Mikhail Gurish is a very strong player. And if it was not for a show, I would have just, uh, of course, agreed to draw with him at some point in this game. But, uh, hey, I was fair in love and war, right? And especially in chess. So, um, what was happening in this game was actually quite instructive because... I think I did get a slight advantage out of all this. Now I just played it again. I just played against the c5 idea. Now Black could have played c5 here, and I think uh, it would have been fine if he had played c5. Although still, still, even after c5, you know, knight takes and some like pawn takes, rook takes, uh, and maybe a five to undo this because now if rook takes rook. Okay, I can't I get can't get into the um, okay my opponent is playing my lines. Oh really then I'm gonna take this I think. Really? How's this play okay and oh maybe this is just good. Why am I even why am I not why am I ignoring this? That's how black should play, probably, right? White should play. Okay, well, here we are. I don't know what happened, but I th I'm, I'm confused. Thoroughly confused in this position. I think I'm worse. Somehow. I mean, white has a center. Knight a5, c5, d5, take, 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 take. I don't like it. And uh, what else? If we e5 maybe. Play for e5, huh? Okay. Let's bring the knight out here. And let's just try to get our pieces out. He's up. As soon as possible. And the queen goes to c8, obviously. Still don't like it. Yeah, white's pressing me big time. Okay, king to h8. 
So I can play a 4 someday. A 5 that is. Okay. E5. Is it time for E5? What else is there, right? Hmm. All right, let's play bishop d6 first. Okay. Trying not to give away too much, but it's not easy when you're so congested. Rook d7, queen d8, queen h4. Oh, he goes for there first. All right, let's stop it. I don't want that queen on h4. Two bishops, full press, dangerous position for black. Okay. Let's try to... Did that just win a piece? Or did I actually defend against that? Wow, that was lucky, huh? I kind of felt I needed to do something with that. Okay, now I have to move my knight finally. Off it goes. C4 is a square of possibilities. Still fighting. All right, bishop d6 or bishop f6. I guess bishop f6 so that there's no d5 and knight e4. This garpoon is one tough cookie. Harpoon in English. That would be harpoon in English. Okay, he decides to sac to do this. That's okay. I think I can maybe live with that. Maybe, but not quite. Should I play g5 to give myself some room? So my knight can go to g6. Oh boy. That's serious stuff. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. Okay. So should I go bishop f4 or just immediately f5 and queen f6? F5, yeah? Get active quickly. Maybe I can take the deep one now. That would be something. That would be a coup. Coup, coup, coup. If I could get that deep one, I would be a survivor. Be a serious survivor. I think I just noticed that and be a little bit unhappy about the proceedings. Uh, that's gone. That uh, I'm gonna take. Oh my God, this does not look good for white at all. All right, well let's grab that spawn.
All right, I can grab that one, right? And why wouldn't I want to take that one? Just to play queen f5 and mate block? White, I mean? Queen f5 mates? Maybe. I'm going to try it. Rook f1 is a big threat, I have to admit. Looking good. The, the, the end game also looked reasonably well. Okay, he actually protected himself. Oh my god. Did I make a boo boo? Was that a big mistake I just played? Queen d7, maybe now? Oh god. Rook f2 takes, takes. No. Rook f2 takes, takes, queen check, king here, queen h3, knight h4, d7, g4. Is that actually winning? That's crazy, I'm gonna do it. I think it's winning. Wait, rook f2 threatens what? If d7. Let me actually win. That's that's really crazy. Yeah. That's what I'm calculated, and it looked winning. Let's see how wrong I am about that. That check. Okay. And now this is winning for black, right? So nice finish, nice finishing touch. Garpoon is gone. Wow. Well, let's see if we can play one last game here. And uh, but actually, actually, you know what? Maybe let's just take a look at this because this was just so amazing. Now, I actually calculated that. Believe me, or not. So here, I was. In my last throws, basically, right? I mean, this was a tough position to defend. Very bad position for black. I mean, look at this. White's all over the place here. Uh, and uh, just hopeless position. I think white could have just won with d5 already and bishop takes knight somewhere and everything, right? Like knight here, bishop takes. Pawn takes and some knight move or something. Or maybe even just attack this. I don't know. Anyway, this was just horrible. But white played knight e2 a little bit. Gave me a little bit of a chance. I played rook d7. Now he struck just so that when I had the chance to defend. And now up I go. Now, okay, position is still extremely bad. But then he gives away his bishop, his beautiful bishop, for no apparent reason, to go knight e4. Now I played g5 to give my knight a square on g6. So I can at least try to reposition my horrible pieces. Knight g6, rook d2. Now out comes my bishop. And in fact, now f5 is in the air. He needs to deal with that. I think now I'm actually okay. Because how do you defend against bishop f4 and f5 at the same time? And he didn't. He just played rook d1. So I played f5. I expected white to go back here or here. But instead, he goes naughty nuts on me. Bishop e6. Of course, I just grab all that take on f3 and and take on f3 again and now he goes queen c7 now normal a normal person would have just taken this and played this ending which of course is very very winning but i wanted to make it fun so i calculated this queen f5 idea threatening mate on f1 white defense with queen c4 and now instead of stopping the pawn i go for it rook f2 Rook takes, queen takes. I'm threatening queen h2. Uh, and white ha seems like white has a defense with queen h3. But no, knight h4. Now, I saw white's playing d7, but I also noticed I'm going to play g4. And thought that this is winning. But now that I look at this position, I'm noticing a very 
nice and nasty move for white, which is simply rook f1. And suddenly, I don't have a mate. So in fact, in this position, I shouldn't have been so cocky, and after d7, probably should have stopped this pawn from queening for now. White can't actually queen, because I'm just going to get mate on e1. And I'm still threatening g4, which I can get in quietly by playing maybe g6 first. So the best white has is probably to queen, after which I take. Rook takes bishop and goodbye. If white doesn't take the bishop and play some like queen f1, well, then we just get into this pretty hopeless ending for white. Down quite a lot of material. So all in all, uh, white played queen d3, and of course this is just checkmate. After g6, too many mates, and white flagged. I'm threatening queen g2, queen f1, and of course on some like queen d2, there's queen f3 and bishop d4 check, followed by queen g2 mate. So I think that was a pretty cool uh, survival tactic there. I didn't do too great today, but I had a monster competition, uh, three GMs, two AMs. So I scored plus one. Uh, probably overplayed my hand against Alex Fishbein and got lucky against uh, in the second game against Mikhail Gurich. And something weird was happening in the game in the game against this new WCH uh, IM. But uh, only uh, serious analysis will explain what actually did happen. I have no idea what was going on in that opening or in that middle game. Although I have a feeling I kind of out. Uh, missed the best chance there somewhere. So um, with that, uh, I say good night. Uh, have a great night, and um, uh, I'm looking forward to the Magnus Carlsen Caruana show up at the Liberty Science Center next uh, Thursday, uh, or rather this Thursday. Uh, it'll be quite exciting. Uh, so all the best to everyone, and. Uh, Enjoy your evening, and this was Grandmaster Max Lugovic. Take it to the max. All the best.